Hi guys, it's uh, John Mansell, ex-Boozan, hope you're well. Um, doing this vlog from a very different location. I'm just at home, had a long day, been to the gym and, uh, and various things. Um, I usually do my vlogs from my car, but unfortunately it's poorly and it's in a garage at the moment. So, fingers crossed, uh, I'll get it back tomorrow and fingers crossed I can afford to pay the bill. Well, we'll, we'll see, but it is what it is, you know. So, this is my yearly Christmas vlog and I call it the C word vlog um, I'm a lot better with uh, Christmas these days although I am still a miserable git um, I had one of those Facebook reminders the other day and I'd, I'd posted a long time ago all I want for Christmas is Mariah Carey to stop fudging singing about it and obviously I've replaced the fudging word. I retweeted it, sorry, I reshared it on Facebook and I got told off by my mum. So Christmas still gets to me, it still goes on far too long, but I'm a lot better at it now um, because I work on the, the ethos that it is just one day. I know it's not for most people, but it is what it is. And I say this every year, you know, and I do say this every year, um, if it comes to it Christmas Day, well, that's if we have a Christmas Day, if we ain't locked down by then, but if it comes to it Christmas Day and you you, you, you don't feel like it, don't do it, you know. Try and push yourself a little if you can. But, you know, like I said, like I said every time I've done one of these, you know, if you woke up Christmas morning and you got a big, you know, a dose of the shits, apologies for the language, you phoned up your family and and said I've got you know I've got what I've got. They wouldn't want you there. So it's the same thing. There's no difference between a a physical illness and a and a mental illness. It's 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 an illness. It's, it's all the same. I said earlier that you know if you can't do it, push on if you can. And I want to read something that I posted the other day. And it says just about to meet up with the lads for a Christmas drink. Not done this in a very long time. Anxiety is well up and I'm nervous. With the C word season coming up, some of you guys will be in a sim will be in similar situations and may back out at the last minute. Don't. Go for it if you can. Never give up. Keep fighting. And then my hashtags were live life don't just exist. I'm a normal one, mentally ill, no shame whatsoever. Now this this night I was nervous, I was anxious, and um, I don't tend to uh, stay too long. But I was there from about half past four, and I did. I was a dirty stop out. I got home at half past twelve. About half eleven, one of my mates who I've known since we was at play school, he gave me a high five in 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 saying and saying fair play, John. You've done you've done really well, and yeah. And it was great to see everybody. You know, I, I did have moments where I had to step outside and get some fresh air. I got too stimulated. I got a little bit heightened. Um, but the guys, the guys, all support me. And 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 there's something. And I, I said this at the end of the of, of the of the uh, the evening. I said, look, guys, you know, we're not exactly. Um, well, let's let's put it in another way. We 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 we're sort of. When it if it boils down to it, we 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 we're sort of men's men. We. are we we you know we don't really do feelings or, or or stuff like that you know Neanderthal type lad, and um, I'll give you an example. There was a WhatsApp group um, all about it, and some of the things going through that was just well I can't even wouldn't even be able to talk about. But I sent a message to them all uh, on the day of the of the uh, of the of the meeting uh, of the going out, uh, and say just just saying looking forward to seeing you all. And uh, one of the guys, um, I can't obviously use the words that he used. Um, he, he he called he 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 called me a uh, uh, a fudging softy. Um, you can probably imagine the, the words that he did use. Um, and we laughed about that, and there was like then there was a bit of abuse going back. Well, I'm not looking forward to seeing you anyway, and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, this this is it. But the the point is, you know. 
the 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 reason I'm able to trust uh, my friends uh, and my family is because I'm honest about my mental illness and my addiction issues, and the guys know full well that if I just disappear, I've gone. You know, usually I try and tell somebody before I go, but the point is. Christmas is is so goes on for such a long time, and we get stressed about buying presents and and things like that. I mean, you know, I I don't do many presents. I'm skint. I'm I'm broke like like a lot of people are. Um, but it, it ain't about things. It's about spending time with family, and um, if you can do it, brilliant. If you can't, fair enough. You know, it is what it is. Don't skint yourself out, you know. It's ridiculous to put yourself in debt for the rest of the year, you know, to next year, just to keep up with the Joneses and, and, and things like that. Um, but it is one day. And uh, once it's over, it's Boxing Day. And you can do what you want to do on that day as well. But at the end of the day, one of the things that you... The reason I survive, the reason I'm able to do what I do with the book and the, the vlogs and the meetings and the things like that is I've worked really, really hard on understanding myself, my illness and my triggers and coping mechanisms. I hate those coping... I, know, I hate those words, triggers and coping me mechanisms. But you guys will know what they're about. You have to spot the signs and then you have to react accordingly. And if you can react accordingly before you get to the bad places, um, then you survive. Uh, I remember years back my social worker slash mental health worker said said out, out loud, you know, out for, to me, John, how the hell have you never ended up in bushy fields with all the, with the things that I've, I've done and got up to and the scrapes that I've got myself into? Bushy Fields is our local um, uh, mental institution, for want of a better phrase. Looney bin, if you're not going, if you don't want to be politically correct, but it's one day. If I can do it, you can do it. Uh, I've even bought a couple of presents already, and I've, <laughs> I put up a fake Christmas tree that I printed out off the off the internet. Um, and uh, I'm looking forward to going to my brother's on Christmas Day and um, spending time with the the family and um, and they know again you know my family know that if I leave I leave because I'm I'm getting heightened or stressed out. It is what it is. But you can do these things when you're honest and open about your illnesses, your, 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 your mental health issues, your addictions, your associated issues. Obviously, this time of year, it must be very, very difficult for people with, with eating disorders. Um, anxiety, it, it must be horrendous. I used to get a lot of anxiety. I, I, I found a way to manage my anxiety a lot better these days. Um, but look, I can't remember what date it is now. I think it's about the 15th. And so what, we're 10 days away. If you need to, shut yourself away for a few days. Don't let the bastards grind you down. And I was going to try not to swear in this one. I've swore twice. Don't let the bastards grind you down. Do what you can do. Be honest and open about your anxiety, your depression, your your your, your manicness, your, your lowness, your addiction, your, your eating disorders, or whatever it is that's affecting you at this time of year. Be open and honest about it, and you will be supported. The more you're open and honest you are, the more people want to help. And um, while I'm, I'll just finish off, I want to say a big thanks to all the lads who have supported me so, so amazingly over the years. Um, I, I was, back in the day when I was drinking, I did some ridiculous things and, and upset each and every one of them. But I, I can't change those things. But what I can do is be a better person today. And they accept me for who I am. Uh, John Mansell, also known as ex Boozound, the mentally ill retired alcoholic. 
and they made the other day um, easy, even though I was really anxious and wound up to begin with. So look, enjoy the good, ride out the bad, my motto. Be upfront, be honest, keep, never give up, never give up and, and, and keep fighting because um, if I can do it, you can do it too. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you soon. Toodle pip. Bye-bye.